We found the prisoner attempting to break into your office, sir. I see. Leave us. Yes, sir. Well, well, as I live and breathe, Professor Hugo Strange. Your posters really don't do you justice. You really are far more evil looking in real life. Charles, tell me, what do you plan to do, Miss Kyle? I assume that you were attempting to break into my office in order to retrieve your ill-gotten gains. You stole them from me. Hardly. The items were confiscated upon your arrest. Yeah, about that. This holiday camp of yours is quaint and all, Hugo. But I don't think I'll be staying too long. Escape is impossible. A girl loves a challenge. So do I. Tell me, what would you do if I let you go? Attempt to escape? Try and find the confiscated items? Contact? the Batman. Why would I contact him? It's his fault I'm in here. Is it? I believe you would have escaped if greed had not got the better of you. He was actually in the process of rescuing you, was he not? I didn't need his help. Or any man's, it appears. Come on, you're going somewhere with this? Spit it out. I've been studying you. I can see. My eyes are up here, by the way. Very amusing. Tell me, what was it like growing up alone, fending for yourself, doing whatever was necessary to stay alive? Please, I'm tearing up here. And Holly, what would you do if I sent my men after her? Touch her and you're dead. Have you calmed down yet? Where is she? That depends on your next answer. If you could save one person tonight, who would it be? Holly? Or the Batman? He can look after himself. Good. Holly is safe for now. Let us talk about Batman. What do you think I can tell you that you don't already know? You've been sending your goons after him for months. He said you were studying him. So you speak. Good. You never knew your father, correct? Enough, Strange. This is over. If you say so. Captain, do you have the girl in your sights? Yes, sir. Kill her. No! Are you prepared to talk? I thought so. Keep the girl targeted, Captain. You bastard. Shall we continue? Your father. Did you ever meet him? Never knew the son of a bitch. Unfortunate. He certainly seems to have made an impact on you. The distrust of men, for example. Your relationship with Batman, would you call it close? Me and the brooding one get along just fine. But you want more. <laughs> but you can't trust men, can you? What? Look, he's spoken for. He must be. How else could he resist all this? You're both very similar, aren't you? A shared disregard for the law, a belief that you are doing the right thing, and a similar taste in attire. But beneath the surface, there is a weakness. Like how? You both risk everything for a chance at redemption. You tell yourself it's to help her. He does the same for the boy. It's all just to make his life more complete, to become the father he never knew. You don't know anything about him. And neither do you. He hasn't confided in you because he doesn't trust you. And it hurts, doesn't it? I touched a raw nerve, didn't I? Are you still here? You're hurt because he knows who you are, but you don't know anything about him. Do you love him? No! <laughs> Holly is safe. I have little interest in the life of a teenage delinquent, unless, of course, she finds herself in my facility. What was all this about, Strange? Do you enjoy making people beg? Not at all. 
I am only interested in what makes people do what they do. Soon you will not have to worry about the Batman. Steal what you like, do what you must in a futile attempt to steal his heart. You will fail. You sound pretty sure of yourself. Plans are afoot, Miss Kyle. Soon you may wish to reevaluate your admiration for him. I will be the one standing over his body, and the world will know that Hugo Strange is better than him. Yeah, whatever. Two Face has placed what you are looking for in his safe in his old campaign office. He is someone else who cannot let go of his past. I hope that the contents of that safe make you happy.